Emmanuel Macron clearly is capitalizing on this. Benoît Hamon could also, because uh, what he's proposing is appealing to young, especially urban voters, you yeah. know, uh, uh, the environment, uh, this kind of uh, income he wants to provide essentially uh, for young people who don't have a job, but at least can have some income to Cannabis. Start. Mm -hmm. Cannabis, yes. Right, exactly. Legalizing. Legalizing cannabis, yes. Yes. And, and so, uh, but uh, it's clearly not a grassroots movement because he's going to be the face of the Socialist Party if he wins. Uh, but Manuel Valls' speech, which was very forceful, and we can expect some fireworks in their debate on Wednesday, because clearly there's a stark choice, as he pointed out. Manuel Valls is appealing to older uh, voters and also people who didn't go to vote, because uh, he knows that the, the young people are not uh, very uh, favorable uh, to him. But uh, he is the one, actually, who uh, said a while ago, not that long ago, that the left, there were two lefts that could not be reconciled. And he's been trying to do this, but those two lefts will be face to face next Wednesday uh, when they'll uh, be on the debate, but also next Sunday in the, in the voting booth. And clearly this is going to be a major choice for the Socialist Party. Do you go with Valls or do you go with Amont? Do you go towards the center? Or do you go to Macron? Or, but that we'll see That's in the general election. But at least next point. Sunday, we'll have a pretty good indication if there are still people who want the Socialist Party to remain very socialist or go towards the center. What do you make of the turnout for this first round? Well, it was, you know, damage control. Let's put it this way. The socialists were really fearing that they would have less than 1.5 yeah. million voters. Just uh, to put this in perspective, when they held their primary in 2011, there were 2.6 million voters. Uh, a couple of months ago, the uh, conservative uh, had 4.3 million. Uh, so if they reach nearly 2 million, which is less than half the conservative tur turnout, it's pretty good for them. But in general, it's pretty bad. Uh, but it's pretty bad. Why? Because you had a president who was so unpopular, he could not run again. And you have a party that's <laughs> been trashed in election after election. And that's polling fifth in the uh, upcoming presidential election.